Hey, my name's Kenny McDonald. I'm the manager of uh, Drum Chapel Life. The organisation was uh, originally founded in 2002, uh, and I've been here uh, since the beginning. Uh, that's why I look so old. And uh, the organisation grew out of. Actually, can I, the organisation came about because going back to about 1999, there was a. Uh, there was a structure in Drumchapel called the Social Inclusion Partnership and they were looking at some of the issues that were in the community of Drumchapel, inc including some of the, the problems and, and the positive stuff, but they were looking at ways of tackling some of the less positive things. And one of the big things that's affected a lot of people in Drumchapel over the years is that it's an area where there have been a lot of health inequalities. So one of the, one of the themes that the Social Inclusion Partnership had was health and wellbeing. And, uh, from Chapel Life actually grew out of something that was called the Health and Social Issues Implementation Group. That's a bit long-winded, but it was about health and well-being and social issues. The services we offer are quite varied. Uh, we started off uh, originally as a, what was called a Healthy Living Centre, and over the last 12 years our, the focus of our work has all been about health and well-being. Uh, we work with schools, we work with nurseries, we work with a range of local community groups. But all the work we do is in partnership with other people. So we don't, as such, directly deliver projects on our own, apart from one or two things. Uh, all of the work, as I say, is, is about improving health and wellbeing and creating opportunities where people can get involved in things that are positive. One of the other big projects that we've got in the go at the moment, uh, which is a, just about a year and a bit into a three-year project, is a project that's helping people uh, be smarter about money. There's a lot of people that live around here that maybe are on low incomes, maybe don't have a lot of cash, uh, particularly when it comes to uh, money to spend on a healthier lifestyle. And uh, for that reason, we went to the big lottery fund and got some money uh, to look at help people help budgeting their money better, help people that don't have bank accounts, open bank accounts, uh, help people look at reducing their home energy costs, like their gas and electricity, and switch suppliers and stuff like that. But also helping people look at uh, how they might cook food on a budget and how they might get involved in other activities that save them money. Because a, a lot of leisure activities are costing people a lot of cash and they can't really afford it. So we're, we're creating a chance of people to think about other things. Uh, I suppose thinking a bit more creatively about how they use their money and, and use their money to improve their well-being and their health. I mentioned earlier uh, working in schools and nurseries and a couple of examples of that are uh, we've been working in partnership with the Drumchapel Table Tennis Club for the last eight or so years. Uh, and as a, as a result of that, we've got professionally coached sports sessions in 18 schools in the, the west of Glasgow. Uh, and that's, there's about 900 kids involved in that, that's in primary schools. And uh, I suppose the idea of that is that table tennis is quite an easy sport for kids to get involved in. It's cheap and we're using what's already in the area. There's a good, well-established table tennis club in the area, uh, which a lot of people know about and it's popular and they've done really well. Uh, the other kind of stuff we've done in schools and nurseries is we've done cooking classes for children and parents cooking stuff together because quite often kids get a lot of stuff in school about a healthier diet but it's not getting back home so it's getting parents and kids doing stuff together that might improve the, their diet at home. Uh, we've also been in the last two or three years we've been funding a project at Drumchapel High School, uh, a peer support project which gets fifth and sixth year pupils trained as peer supporters for children who are leaving primary school and kind of making that transition uh, into secondary school. And that's, that's actually been really successful, helping kids make that move. Quite often kids are a bit frightened about, you know, moving from their primary to secondary school. Uh, and that's, that's been a really successful project. It's kind of hard to see where the organisation's going. And some of that will be down to, particularly over the next year, when we start to have to look again at how the direction of the organisation for the next few years, because a lot of that depends on how we can access funding. I think the focus of the organisation 
It's important that the focus of our work remains on health and well-being, uh, because we're, one, of the, one of the things that I've certainly found working in Drum Chapel for 12 years, you can't set up a project that runs for two or three years and then just disappear. And that's something that I think people used to feel happened a lot in the past, that uh, organisations would come along, they'd be there for a couple of years and then they'd be gone. You'd build up expectations in people and they'd be away. You know, the organisation would be away and people would lose a bit of momentum. And certainly what, what we'd be looking to do is to try and sustain ourselves as a, an organisation. But we can only do that if we're doing work that's going to make a difference to people. And again, that's dependent on our ability to, to get funding to do that. Certainly we know that there's a big need in this area to have uh, opportunities that people can access for doing positive stuff with their life. If you'd like to find out any more information about Drumchapel Life and what we do, click on here.